situation in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. Officers are surrounding an area near a restaurant. A gunman reportedly was spotted there. Trace Gallagher is live with the latest on this. Trace. Harris, that restaurant is on King Street in Charleston. It's called Virginia's, where witnesses told the local affiliates that an African-American male in his 50s came out with a gun and said, quote, there's a new sheriff in town. Some say he also said, I am the new king of Charleston. There are eyewitness reports the man opened fire on another employee, and just moments ago, police confirmed that one person has been shot and taken to the hospital. His condition right now is unknown. Police say at least one other person is being held in inside the restaurant as a hostage there may be more there's no word on demands or if the police are in contact with the suspect but apparently they have struck up some type of conversation and negotiations may be underway now some people claim to have snuck out of the restaurant by crawling on their stomachs by most accounts including the mayor of Charleston this sounds like a disgruntled worker situation but police as you said are treating this as an active shooter the nearby streets you can tell from the video have all been shut down, blocked off. The businesses in the area are on lockdown, and the business owners and any any uh, customers are being told to stay inside with the doors locked. This is happening, if you don't know the area, on King Street, which is very hot in Charleston. Upper King is the design and dining district. Middle King is the fashion area. Lower King, the antique district. This is in the upper part, which is close to the College of Charleston. And it's only a few blocks away from the church that Dylan Roof shot and killed nine people in in June of 2015. So right now, we have confirmed one person has been shot. His condition is unknown. At least one hostage being held inside Virginia's restaurant and at least one man is in there with a gun and police are trying to talk him out to stop any further bloodshed. Harris. Well, Trace, you put it into such perspective. Not only is this an active shooter situation, but the vicinity down from that prayer meeting that happened back in June of 2015, where we lost those people uh, to a vicious gunman, uh, it has to be on people's minds today, a very frightening scene. We will stay on it. Thank you very much, Trace.